So iOS 15.1 is only a few days away and it finally introduces a key feature of iOS 15. So here is everything you need to know about the update. Now iOS 15.1 is going to be a major update with a lot of bug fixes and some new features as well, one of which is SharePlay. Now SharePlay basically was announced back in the summer with iOS 15 but it was delayed for some reason and we are finally getting it with iOS 15.1. Now with SharePlay, you'll basically have the option to watch movies or listen to music with your friends on a FaceTime call, much like Netflix Party. So all of you will have the control to play or pause the content that is playing. And one really cool feature is basically called Smart Volume. So if anyone just starts talking on the FaceTime call, the audio on the movie or the TV or the song, whatever is playing, will just go down when someone is speaking. Now SharePlay won't only be limited to the Apple TV app or the Apple Music app, other applications will also have support for this in the future updates on the App Store. Now if you have the iPhone 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max, ProRes Video is finally coming to you with iOS 15.1 as well. Now if you live in Florida, you'll have the option to add your license in the wallet app and if you live in California, you'll have the option to add your vaccination card in the app as well. But that is pretty much it. I mean iOS 15.1 focuses more on bug fixes and improvements rather than new features and battery life also has improved because of this i'm averaging around five and a half hours of screen on time with ios 15.1 which is way better than ios 15.0.2 so that is something you'll also have to note and performance itself has also improved with this update nothing major but i have way less app crashes with this update so that is a good thing now when can we expect iOS 15.1 to be released? Now we only had the event a day before and that is when Apple announced that we'll be getting the new macOS on the 25th which is the next Monday and that is exactly when we'll be getting iOS 15.1 for the public. So 25th is the date but here are a few things you need to know before the update. Now this is going to be a big update around 4 or 5 gigs so make sure you have at least that much storage on your iPhone. Now this update won't take that storage particularly but basically will override the old iOS update on your iPhone. You just need to have that much space to install the update. Other than that, make sure your battery is about 50% while you're updating and that is pretty much it. Now should you install the update once it's available and the answer to that is yes you should. SharePlay itself is an amazing feature to install this update. You'll be able to do a lot of stuff with SharePlay and other than that, this update has a ton of bug fixes or 15.0.2 and 15.0.1 which itself makes a big case for this update. So go ahead and install the update once it's available next week. But that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and as always, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.